Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about understanding the discriminant. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this question. In your own words, explain why a quadratic equation can't have one imaginary solution. Now this is a good question, and this actually comes down to, well, let's look at the quadratic formula x equals the solution, a negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Hopefully you can find where the discriminant lies, that b squared minus 4ac. They tell us here that if it's equal to 0 inside the square root, we have one rational solution, but if it's less than 0, we have two imaginary solutions. Well. The reason why we can't have one imaginary solution, it always has to be two, is the imaginary solution only occurs when inside the square root is a negative number, okay? If it's zero or a positive number, right? If it's zero here, think about when it's zero. We would have a negative b plus or minus the square root of zero over, well, 2a then, right? If the inside of the square root was zero. Well, that's going to clearly give us one rational solution because square root of zero is zero and plus or minus zero doesn't change anything. Okay, It's plus zero minus zero, it's going to be the same value, so we'll have one solution. But if inside that discriminant is a negative, or discriminant is a negative number, we have a negative b plus or minus here, the square root of a discriminant value, and that's going to be a negative, so it's going to be a negative discriminant value over 2a. Whatever that value is, the discriminant, we know it's negative, okay? When we take the square root of that, it's going to be some imaginary number, something in the form of a plus bi. But we're also having to do the plus or minus there. So plus or minus is going to be applied to that, meaning we always will have two solutions, two different ones that are imaginary. And so that is why, in our own words, or my words, but hopefully you learn something, that our quadratic equation can't have one imaginary solution and must always have, if it's imaginary, two imaginary solutions. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.